Marcus, can Tom Brady and the Bucks overcome all of these injuries and win yet another Super Bowl? Yes, yes, they can. Listen, when you ask questions about Tom Brady and if he can win, the answer should be yes. Damn it. It should be yes until he leaves because we all been proven wrong by saying no. He went to Tampa and won the first year. We, we talked about how – here's what I want people to remember. We talk about how devoid of talent the New England Patriots were the last year with Tom Brady. Do y'all know that team went 12-4? and four? And we on here asking if Tom Brady could win a Super Bowl with Antonio Brown and Rob Gronkowski still available and Mike Evans potentially coming back, um, all, being day-to-day -day and having that – that's three Hall of Famers on offense. This offensive line is still one of the top offensive lines in, in the league, except when they play the Saints. So, yeah, Tom Brady can lead mm -hmm. the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And when I say lead, I talk more from a psychological standpoint. He's going to have to make the throws and make plays and do all of those things. But though, the playmakers that he has from an offensive standpoint and defensively, they're going to have to elevate their level of play like they were able to do last year. The one thing that gives me pause about Tampa in totality, because that's a different, a different conversation of if Tom Brady can lead them. Yeah, he can lead them. Shaq Barrett is out, which I think is a huge issue. Me and Foxy just talked about Dallas yeah. and why he thinks they're the best team in the NFC because of the pass rush. Shaq Barrett is a huge loss, like a big, a, a huge loss. Him and Leonard Fournette, I would put at similar things. But to say that Tom Brady can't do something in the NFL, I think we're being a little bit naive to what he's shown us over the, over, the, uh, over the time of his career. And it doesn't have anything to do with Tom Brady. It has everything to do with Antonio Brown being available, Rob Gronkowski being available, Brayt being available, and also Mike Evans potentially being available. So yeah. I'm, I'm good. I'm good with that yeah. roster and that talent from an offensive standpoint with Tom Brady. I don't... I don't see it happening, um, in part because you're talking about all these weapons on offense, and you talked about that 12-4 and four Patriots team that was pretty good despite not having enough weapons on offense. You're, not, you're leaving out the defense. Like, the defense led them to the Super Bowl last year. The defense made the plays they, they needed to advance in every single playoff game until they got to the Super Bowl and then dominated one of the best offenses we've ever seen. That 12-4 and four Patriots team that Brady was, was leading, that defense was dominant throughout the course of that year. Like, those are things matter. So while I'm certainly not going to trust um, A.B., as we talked about in the first uh, hour, I'm also concerned about how good this defense really is right now. And Shaq Barrett is a big loss. The injuries and the continuity or lack of continuity in the secondary, another big issue. So I do think that you better get your dogs, man. Your dogs acting acting wild over there, Mark. Bro, my dog, my dog, <laughs> mad at you for saying that Tom um, can't lead this team to a Super Bowl. That's what he he's did. mad at. Listen, he did, coming off, he didn't last Foxy, year. But go ahead, Foxy. To this point, though, to this point, to this point, coming off what you just said, bro. Like I get it and I understand it because we, you and I, are talking logical football conversation. All right, but we know that there's an intangible that 12 brings to a football team that elevates them in crucial situations, bro. Like, and that's what I'm basing it off of. I'm not, I'm not, they are not the best team in the NFC. They are not the best team. They, they have suffered too many losses and too many injuries. But those things, and, and I, I won't equate this to everybody else in the NFL, but we know that Tom, Tom Brady, Brady is magic. figures out a way All right, to you do win. stuff I can't debate that makes us I, I, sit back and be like, how in the hell are they here? Mm -hmm. So I, I yeah. still, I'm still not out on that yet. You, well, you win. I can't debate magic. Tom Brady magic. So but, I'm, I'm done. I can't bro, debate magic. You can I mean, never count out it, Tom Brady. We know that much. And on Sunday, he's looking to continue his dominance against the Jets. He's 30-7 and seven all time against the Jets. There's only one other quarterback who has more wins against a single team in NFL history. That would be Brady versus the Bills. He owns all the records, guys. Oh, mm -hmm. um, Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.